Dr. Lisa Bruton. I teach in the School of Media Arts, and um, generally I teach media studies, which broadly defined is really the, the study of not so much the how to do media, but the, the study of the economic and political structures behind media and how they influence content. So media studies folks study uh, three basic things, content, the industry itself, how it's structured, how it's funded, and so on, um, and then audiences. My own work um, is really focused on those groups uh, in various societies. I study three countries in Southeast Asia and also the United States, uh, Thailand, Myanmar, and the Philippines. And I'm interested in those people in these places that are trying to improve the media landscape, so diversify, um, decentralize, um, kind of uh, uh, and create a more inclusive, like public discussion or spaces for pu public discussions. And that manifests in various ways. Um, but really, a, a, most of these people are fighting this wave of authoritarian populism that sort of swept uh, the globe in the past uh, decade or so. And so we're so really trying to understand what are the patterns of this authoritarianism and how does it affect media, how do media both influence it and are affected by it and so on. So those are the kinds of things that I teach. So on a, like in general, the classes I teach, media, media and society, sort of from a sociological perspective, what do all these things mean? Also, what's the impact of media on societies generally? Um, gender and media, globalization and media, um, it's really important to think of ourselves not really, um, I mean we are all really part of a global world at this point. Media is not national by any means, you know, we're talking about a transnational marketplace, a transnational flow of information, so that's all really important to understand and how that's working and what are the trends in media industries and what does that mean for content and audiences and so on. Um, and I also get to teach some specialized, special topics courses. So for example, this semester I'm teaching authoritarianism and dissent in the digital era. So we're looking at these patterns of authoritarianism, not just overseas, but also in the United States and other Western kind of developed countries. Um, I also get to teach things like social movements, social media, and, and social change. I am um, developing a course now on trauma, trauma and media, sort of what are the ways in which media cover trauma, what are the impacts of trauma on media makers, and what kind of content, what does content about trauma kind of, you know, what are the impact of that, the kinds of, um, the kinds of issues that are brought up or, or represented around trauma and media. So those are all really some of the things that I look at. I'm interested in a broad, broad range of issues, but all of them really revolving around media, democracy, and power. So I think for any students of media, it's really, really important to understand what goes on behind the scenes. Um, and I don't mean behind the camera, just of course that's important, you know, really the aesthetic qualities of media production and the, the various ways in which, uh, you know, production theories, um, those are all really important. But it's also very important to understand what we don't see. You know, how do the politics and economics of the industry affect the kinds of challenges uh, facing journalists um, or other media makers? Um, what does the new, you know, influence of social media mean for traditional journalism? I mean, this is something we've been talking about for a while, right? But in general, for students who are really focused on production, it's really important to understand the structures because in many ways your work will be influencing them and affected by them. And the more that you're aware of that, the more that you can kind of make choices around those kinds of decisions. What, to, what kinds of things do I want to produce? How do I want to represent this subject? Right? Those kinds of things are really important. Obviously, they get talked about in production classes as well, but I think some of the political, economic structures, the impacts on society, those sort of social theories about what's going on are also really, really valuable for students of production. It really helps to broaden your mind. Think also globally beyond your particular experiences or knowledge geographically in terms of topic area, those kinds of things an education that combines both studies, media studies, and production really is what differentiates a four-year program from a trade school, right? You're really getting to think about what, does these, what do these structures mean? How can I intervene here? Um, what is the impact and overall import of my work? The School of Media Arts at Southern Illinois University is a place to really discover yourself.
discover some unknown aspects of who you are and maybe who you are in relationship with people that you've never met yet, kinds of people that you've never met yet, opportunities that you don't even imagine yet.